In this video, we will discuss the poetic devices used in the first stanza of the poem, A Tiger in the Zoo. So I'll first read out the first stanza. He stalks in his vivid stripes, the few steps of his cage, on pads of velvet quiet, in his quiet rage. So in this, there are a lot of poetic devices that have been used in this stanza. So first of all, we'll talk about the rhyme scheme. So we can see the first word, uh, sorry, the last word in the second line is cage. It rhymes with the last word of the fourth line, rage. So we can say that the rhyme scheme that has been used in this poem is a, B, C, B. So we can see there are only two words that are rhyming. That is cage and rage. And cage is there in the second line. And rage is there in the fourth line. So the rhyme scheme of this poem is, of the stanza, sorry, is A, B, C, B. There is another poetic device that has been used here. And that is personification. So here we can see that the tiger is personified because the poet is referring him as he. So as he, the poem starts, he stalks. So he is uh, like, what is personification? So it is referring an inanimate thing as a living thing. So that is known as personification. So we can see that the poet, he is uh, personifying the tiger and he is referring to him as he. So there is a use of personification. So the next poetic device that is used in this stanza is metaphor. So what is metaphor? So it is a comparison that is made between two different things or ideas. So in this, we can see in this stanza on pads of velvet quiet. So in this, we can see that in the third line of the first stanza, the poet compares the pads of the tiger feet with velvet. So both of them, they are soft and smooth when they are touched. So the poetic device that is used here is metaphor. Now there is one more poetic device. The next poetic device that is used is enjambment. So we've talked about this earlier also in the previous poems also. So the sentence is continuing to the next line without any punctuation mark. So we can see like he stalks in his vivid stripes the few steps of his cage. So in this, we can see that the sentence is continuing to the next line without any punctuation mark. So there is use of enjambment. The next poetic device that is used is in this stanza is imagery. So in this, the poet, he tries to create an image about the tiger. So when he says he stalks in his vivid stripes, the few steps of his cage. So there is an image of uh, the tiger that is created and that is that it is it has white, vivid stripes, bright stripes. And then like uh, it moves a few steps in the cage. So we can imagine this. We can form it. it we can create an image about the tiger about moving around in the cage. So there is use of imagery. So there is one more poetic device that is used in the last line. And that is like in the last line, we can see it is written in his quiet rage. So we can see that there are two words. The two, I mean, you, there is a use of adjectives that are opposite in meaning. So there is like it has been written, I mean, it's written quiet rage. So both of them, they are opposite in meaning. Quiet is 
like very calm and all rages violent extremely angry that is being i mean like we can see that in this there are two adjectives there is a u i mean there is use of adjectives that are opposite in meaning so uh, like uh, there is use of oxymoron also in the last line there is there are two more poetic devices that we can say it is the consonants and the assonants so we've talked about these uh, poetic devices in the previous poems also like dust of snow and fire of ice so like we can see it is written in the first line he stalks in his vivid stripes so we can see that there is use of sound s sound he stalks vivid stripes so there is use of consonants and there is use of i mean the um, the poetic device that is also used here is assonance so we can see like there is a vowel sound i that is there in vivid stripes so we can say i mean like um, assonance is also used so there are quite a lot of poetic devices that have been used in the first stanza